So there's many different ways that you can get protein into the diet. Essentially, you'll have a high level of protein in, in animal flesh and things that are derived from animals. So that's, you know, if you think about meats, poultry, lamb, beef, uh, possibly speciality meats, <clears throat> wild game, rabbits, and then, and then things that are derived from those animals. So um, milks, um, eggs, you know, th th those, those contain the full spectrum of all the amino acids that you need, all the essential amino acids. So there's, there's, um, there's eight essential amino acids that you cannot make in the body that have to be derived from the protein that you consume. Now you can get them from animal proteins and things that are derived from animals. If you're vegetarian, um, then you have to look at plant-based sources of protein. Some, some vegetarians will eat fish though, which will have the full complement of all the uh, essential aminos that you need. For, for vegetarians, <clears throat> who don't eat fish or for vegans then you you have to look at uh, protein containing foods such as uh, soya um, plant-based proteins like beans and pulses lentils chickpeas kidney beans and and those types of, of protein now the the thing with some of those plant-based proteins is they're a little bit lower in lysine and methionine which are two essential aminos so what you, what you have to do is combine those with with a uh, grain based food so you get the full complement of all of all your essentials fundamental principle we, we always advocate is food first so always try and get your protein from whole food uh, sources wherever possible we're going to speak about functional proteins in a minute but essentially any any protein from an animal is functional because it will have not just the aminos you need but it will have a complement of other fats, B vitamins, iron, you know, things like organic chicken liver is loaded with nutrients. Most, most offal, if you look on a vitamin, um, a vitamin list, offal will come up number one with the highest nutrient density. Uh, so whether it be kidney, liver, and all those types of things. So I'm a big believer in eating the whole animal, you know, eating the flesh from the animal, eating some organ meats, boiling the bones up, <clears throat> to, to get the goodness out of the bones, you know, making the most of, of the fact that the animal's actually, you know, given its life up so that we, you know, that we can eat it and thrive on it. So, so you've got your whole proteins. Thing, the thing with um, protein is the, there's a phrase, you are what you eat. Um, the phrase I like to get people to say is, you are what you uh, eat, ate. So basically, if if you eat a you know a grain-fed cow, you'll you'll get your essential aminos and 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 fats and so on that are within the meat. But because the cow's been fed loads of grains, the meat will be higher in omega-6 fats. Now, if that same cow gets to eat grass, the the meat from the cow will be higher higher in a ratio in terms of omega-3 fats. And we're going to talk about fats in the next instance, but that, that ratio will help regulate your inflammation. So where you're choosing to source your meats from is really important for your health and your, for, for your performance. Um, outside of the animal-derived uh, and plant-based sources of protein, you've then got things like um, whey protein, casein protein, um, whey, the whey can... <clears throat> can be processed into an isolate or, or hydrosylate which it, which further refines the, the amino acids down into to more digestible molecules you can you can extract amino acids from these different types of protein so each amino will have a key role to play in the body when we come to talking about sleep you, um, you'll learn that tryptophan is the amino acid which helps build serotonin, which helps deep restful sleep and can can calm people down and regulate carbohydrate cravings. Pre-training or in the morning, there's another amino called tyrosine, which builds dopamine, adrenaline and noradrenaline, which you can take if you want to get switched on and more focused in into your exercise session. It also has a has a role to play in you know anti-addiction and getting over things like caffeine uh, dependence and so on and you know you, you t we're going to give you um, lists of these aminos there's aminos which build collagen matrix you know 
any, any role in the body will have an, uh, an amino acid um, derived necessity to, fu to, fu to fulfill that role, whether it be building enzymes and, and so on. So we can, we can look at the building the fundamental base of your protein intake with, with a good quality, you know, hopefully organic, grass fed, you know, sust sustainable type approach, and then add in these amino acids on top for key performance or, or health or sleep or, or mental drive based uh, scenarios.